makes the perfect adventure. Something light enough to walk on water. Light enough to tread on air. A thumper with enough torque to move earth. Or enough power to cross it. Is adventure in your pockets? Or in your mind? Venture intangible. Venture ethereal. Venture untouchable. Oh, shit. That'll lower our pretensions for once. To watch ADV on TV, you'd think it a serious endeavor for the brave of heart and the betterment of mankind, not a silly hobby for blowing six figures and six weeks of vacation playing Obi-Wan Kenobi, which it is. KTM's new 390 knows that. Small bike, small price tag, Small press kit. Hashtag adventure more in your daily life. One needn't buy the round the world, change the world, whole new world bullshit. It says go for a ride, have fun, the end. Okay. The smoke hanging over Vancouver actually drifted from the US wildfires a couple of days ago, but it first went offshore over the water before being swept back in and it settled here. Air quality is listed as I'm attempting a solo trek from my office here in Vancouver to my office's lunch truck here in Vancouver. I'll be taking the long way around, so we better prepare to live on the road a full 12 minutes. I need music, navigation, telephone, and KTM's tablet-esque dash does all that. In this corner of the world, local tradition requires me to jump every ramp. WP Apex suspension can be dialed for impact. You won't find better cushions in the entry-level market, and only a few in the upper level. And these forks are firm and 43 millimeters thick, as on KTM 790. to cross the barren parking lot. A deadly mix of shattered pavement, quicksand, and jungle. Many riders have been lost to what is known as the parking lot of death. But not I. See, these are Continental TKC 70s, $200 tires designed in Germany. Wet, dry, on road, off, these have more grip than most riders have balls. I'm halfway there when darkness falls. Will I make it through the night?
Will this LED ripped off the 790 with enough luminosity to require a heat sink slash down the center be my headlight at the end of the tunnel? Yes. But I didn't make it through unscathed. Uh, I guess I'll have to jerry rig some kind of fix. Way out here. I can find an old farmhand to stuff it with straw or something. Or maybe I can plug it in 30 seconds with a bacon strip. See, alloy wheels mean tubeless tires. Flats are fewer and easier to fix. Dual sport dinks will piss on alloys for being bendy and brittle off-road, but I have more time for them. My old V-Strom 1000 was thrashed on alloys for years and never bent a rim enough to deflate its tire. And that's a heavier bike than this. I'm a harsher rider than most. Alloys will be adequate here. Our route concludes with the twistiest road in the world. It's all corners. And the 390 is safe to ride dangerous. Its traction control and anti-lock brakes constantly measure my lean angle and mitigate my idiotic inputs accordingly. Superbike stuff. We must take a moment at the end, for in every authentic adventure, people from developing countries will want to ooh and ah and sit all over our European machines. Uh, dude, that's like made in India. It's like close to my hometown. We have like a million of those things. Right. Uh... Adjustable levers, crash bars come stock. I guess the Bajaj economy of scale is kind of showing through. Chewing over authentic Canadian cuisine, I look back on what this journey has taught me. Self-revelations from the epic lunch break taco run include, I like tacos. I like lunch break. I dislike riding the 390 adventure. As a value proposition, it's flawless. The KTM is equipped to slay any challenger like Achilles, but like Achilles, it has a heel. The foot pegs, they're slanted. As soon as you stand up, hit a bump, land a jump, the pegs Pitch your balance forward. And then it's not a long bike, only 56.3 inches between the wheels, so the motorcycle's trying to throw me over its own front tire. And the peg's so high, the front end so low, I have nothing but thin air between my knees to stop that happening. It feels like riding a sport bike off-road. Now granted, it's meant to be a less serious adventurer. But if anyone's gonna struggle with pegs this rear set, a front tire this stubby, a ground clearance this shallow, surely it's the less experienced riders. I mean, even KTM's Pro looks like he can barely avoid flying over the handlebars. Ergonomically, it's a street bike with adventurous plastic. Might as well get the 390 Duke for $1,000 less.
from my office. Ooh.